Hi, this is Lindsay with Bidet's Plus, and today we'll be reviewing the Brondell Swash 1000. The Swash 1000 is a significant upgrade over Brondell's previous generation model, the Swash 800, and is packed with some of the latest technology a bidet seat has to offer. Operated with a wireless remote control, the Brondell Swash 1000 aesthetically is one of the better looking bidets you'll find. The bidet has clean, contemporary lines and also has a compact profile when mounted on the toilet. Towards the rear of the seat, you can see a small Brondell logo centered in the middle. Also in the back is the primary remote control signal receiver, which is the black sensor you see towards the top of the picture. Just beneath the remote control signal receiver, you'll find three LED lights. The first light indicates the power is on. The second light is for the power saving mode, and the last light tells you if the seat's temperature has been heated, since the Swash 1000 does have a warmed toilet seat feature. From this angle, you can see how the lid of the Brondell Swash 1000 slopes down gently from back to front. You can also see that the power cord extends from this side of the unit. Just to the left of the power cord, there is a mini control panel used to operate basic functions of the bidet without the remote control. Here is a close-up of the mini control panel. The first button on the left is a power button. The middle button activates rear cleansing, and the last button is for nozzle cleaning. The Brondell Swash 1000 is powered by twin stainless steel wash nozzles. Feminine wash, as demonstrated here, is handled by the nozzle on the left. Here comes the nozzle for posterior wash. Both water pressure and water temperature can be adjusted. You can adjust the position of the wash nozzle forward or backwards to best suit your body, as we're demonstrating here. The Swash 1000 also has a move feature. By pressing a button on the remote control, the nozzles automatically go back and forth, extending the cleaning area. Look closely and you'll see the water spray change from narrow to wide. Adjustable spray width is another feature of the Swash 1000. This lets you choose from a narrow, more concentrated spray or a softer, wider spray. As shown earlier, the Brondell Swash 1000 has a nozzle cleaning button on the side of the unit. This feature lets you extend each of the nozzles one at a time so you can clean the nozzles as necessary. The bidet also has a separate nozzle sterilization feature. This feature is activated on the remote control and treats the nozzles with a powerful silver oxide which sterilizes the nozzles. The bidet also has a warm air dry. With four different adjustable air dry settings, we would rate the air dry as above average compared to other bidet seats we tested. The bidet also features a slow closing seat and lid. Although sitting on the lid would damage most other bidet models, the Swash 1000 has a lid that's sturdy enough for you to sit on. The wireless remote control comes with a separate wall mounting attachment which lets you mount the remote on the wall. Or you can take the remote out and hold it in your hand like we're doing here. The remote easily fits in one hand and all the buttons can be accessed with your thumb. You can see the most frequently used buttons such as wash, move and dry towards the top of the remote. Adjustment settings for nozzle position, water pressure, water temperature and seat temperature are controlled with the buttons further down. Additional features include an air deodorizer and a self-cleaning function, which rinses off the nozzles before and after each use. The Brondell Swash 1000 also has a temperature-controlled heated seat, but if you prefer your seat at room temperature, you can simply turn this feature off. The bidet also has a power-saving mode, which decreases energy consumption. Thanks for watching this Bidet's Plus video review, featuring the Swash 1000 from Brondell. You can also check out our full write-up on this model in the Bidet Reviews section on bidetsplus.com.